Hey, Dan here again on my prayer tailgate party, and I'm glad you could join me for a few moments here. Um, one of the things I really wanted to talk about today, and, and again, I'm, I don't want to teach the Bible so much as I want to live it with you in a few moments, and whether our, our eschatology, our believing of the end times is one way, that really doesn't matter, but the principles are still the same, and the principles still work, that we are always to look to Jesus to guard ourselves from deception. And one of the things that the Bible talks about in Revelation 11, it talks about the two witnesses, the two lampstands that come, and they, they prophesy during this time. There are two, two entities, if you will, the apostles and prophets, however you want to look at that, but they are able, the Bible says, to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want to while they're prophesying, and no one can hurt them. So in that time, I can imagine a little bit like our time now where we have restrictions and pestilence, if you will, and, and how we respond to that is very important. It said that they hated these two prophets because the plagues were so severe. And they killed them eventually. The Antichrist ends up killing them, and then people have a big party. They send Christmas presents because the prophets are no longer here, and it's, it's their fault. And people right now are looking for blame, places to place blame. But I think really it's a better time to reflect inward and say, God, where's my heart with you? Lord, you're the king of the universe. You're the God of the universe. So let's ask God to, in these moments, to help us to realize that tough times can come. This may not be the end of the world, but we can look at what happened in the end of the world and bring it back to where we are today and reflect on that and say, you know what? Maybe I need to turn to God. Maybe I need to get my life right with him because the Bible's very clear. Jesus said, if you don't follow him now, you won't follow him later. Let's just pray and ask God. Will you pray with me? Father, we're here. We ask for anybody out there, God, that doesn't know you, that they would turn to you in this time. Father, not because we're scared to death. We're not scared. We, we have a righteous king in heaven, and we know, Father, this world is not all there is. It's not even about now. It's not about us. Father, I pray that as we go forward in the next few days, months, years, whatever it is, that we would learn to trust you with everything, that we wouldn't lean on our own understanding in every way we acknowledge you. Father, help us take these times right now to, to praise you and to thank you. You are creator. You made us. You know us. You could stop the plague in a second. You could turn the pestilence done in a minute. But Lord, while it's here, while we're in this moment, Father, we pray that you would help us to learn the lessons and not just forget it down the road. Help us, Lord, always to cry out to you. Holy Spirit, please bring your power on us. Lord, bring the power of your Holy Spirit on your people. Help us, Father, to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you will never leave us, never forsake us. Father, bring about change in our hearts where we are, where we are stagnant or where we're struggling or we're compromising. Father, really help your people to turn to you in the power of your Holy Spirit. We pray again, Father, for unity over the believers. We pray, Father, for the power of your Holy Spirit right now. Empower us, Father, as we turn to you. Heal our land. But Lord, don't let us miss the step of repentance and humility, to walk in humility, to not miss this moment, this humbling time in our life. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have a good day and a good week. I, I know that things will be changing, and uh, I just ask that your family's doing well and that you're gleaning from God during these times. So be safe in Jesus, and until next time.